पंथानी शूद्र जाती प्रमाणे वर्तन करून आपल्या मुरुड गावावर धर्म संकट आणलेले आहे हिंदू धर्मात पुरुष जातीच्या पुनर्विवाह संमती असली तरी स्त्री जातीच्या पुनर्विवाह संमती नाही विधवा विवाह शास्त्र वचनाच्या विरुद्ध आहे त्या पापात प्रायश्चित्त नाही Cinema is a religion in this country, so a lot of people do watch films. But when I go to smaller places, like when the festival say happens in Kerala or Calcutta, the audiences come in like thousands and all kinds of audiences. It's not the usual festival like you think that maybe padhe likhe log aare, you know, like this the same kind or the film watchers are coming. There are all kinds. There are students, there are doctors, there's a rickshaw puller, there are a cross class people come. Home to one of the largest film industries in the world, India comprises of Hindi films, more popularly termed Bollywood, with a larger chunk belonging to cinema of other regions. It is the regional cinema that forms a larger part of Indian film industry, not only in numbers but also style and substance. Each region of India has its own cinema. Cinema with a significant purpose within its own creative framework. When we talk of Indian cinema, we talk only of one facet of our Indian cinema. Previously it used to be only Satyajit Ray. Today it is only Bollywood. Uh, I don't think uh, cinema, Indian cinema can be restricted to these kind of labels. I mean, Satyajit Ray has made tremendous contribution to Indian cinema and so has Bollywood has its own place and significance in Indian cinema. One just cannot wish it away or deny it. But nonetheless, it does not end there. There is so much beyond all these things and the regional cinema in our country is making a definite statement. In Indian cinema scenario, the regional cinema has got more mileage, that's number one, and it has got more importance. And even in making also, it occupies nearly 75 to 80 percent of the total production in India. Despite the continuous and growing impact of urbanization, secularization and westernization, in India, people learn the essential themes of cultural life within the bosom of a family. The relationships, both in ideal and in practice, remain the primary social force in the life of most Indians a distinct part of Indian cinema. This is a story about three generations, wherein the grandfather is ill-treated by his son, and his son now sends him a very straight message. Dad, you had done this to your dad. Can't I do this to you? I can. So it's a very emotional melodrama which typically defines the relationship between a father and a son and a grandfather and a grandson and how important it is to take care of our own elders, especially in these days or whatever generation you take, the movie casts an effect. <laughs> आरो किचु देखा ली पढ़ते, ना कि शाहों से कुलोलो ना। बुतोल। जेंची हो ना।
আমি সুমন্তকে সবকিছু খুলে বলেছি আমি এই বাড়ি ছেড়ে চলে যাচ্ছি কালপুরুষ ডিলস উইথ ম্যান ওম রিলেশনশিপ এন্ড অলসো রিলেশনশিপ বিটুইন এ ফাদার এন্ড এ সন তুই এখন রেগে আছিস ওদের সঙ্গে আমার মাঝে মাঝে দেখা হয় কথা হয় জানি আমি কখনো চাইনি পুতুল বা তুই চলে যাস আমার জীবন থেকে I thought I'm making this one after my father died. And uh, I thought I had many things to tell him. He also had many things to tell me, but we couldn't make time to sit and talk about all those untold words and untold stories. I think every father has a story to say to his son and every son has a story to his father to say, but they never exchange those stories. families system and the hierarchies in the family and the values in the families have always been um, a way of con- talking to the people you know as to what are values what are what is good behavior what is respect to elders what is the way you treat villagers what is the way you treat urban people what is the way you treat illiterate people versus educated people so these are the various discourses that occur in these cinematic stories which when the audience is watch you know they see meanings of how to groom their own society and their social fabric you know? gender based films create an awareness of women's position in society at work and within the family kamachi Kamachi Depicting of a conscious action by women and men to change situations has become the most thought provoking cinematic expression of any region Illa Pagale parane do Etra neramai njan ivide nikkunu Onnu thurakku Kamachi Ningal devai pogu Njan ningale karuthuna tharakari alla എനിക്കൊരു തെറ്റ് പറ്റിയതാണ് ദയവായി ക്ഷമിക്കണം എന്റെ മനസ്സൊന്ന് ചാഞ്ചാടിപ്പോയി പക്ഷേ ഇല്ല ഇനി ഒരിക്കലും അത് സംഭവിക്കയില്ല പുരുഷനില്ലാതെ ഒറ്റയ്ക്കൊരു സ്ത്രീക്ക് ജീവിക്കാൻ കഴിയണമല്ലോ and and it starts in the pre independence time and then it goes on to the middle of the 60s so there are four stories in it each story has a woman at the at the middle at the center of it and it's about that woman uh it talks about um in fact it's a cross section of the of the women who lived in in Kerala at that period of time and and and, and there are two uh, four different uh, strata there are four different levels and four different levels of perception about, about awareness Marathi director actor Amol Palekar's Thang or the Quest made simultaneously in English and Marathi recently premiered at Brisbane has raised questions on the complexities and intricacies of gender play and sexual politics from various angles No man for me anymore will there be a woman instead Don't get sucked into the turmoil all over again Gay sex impossible i say we are not child molesters or criminals sai we get up in the morning we do our work we go for shopping we pay our taxes we laugh with our friends we fight about politics except that we love someone of the same sex i i don't think my films are uh, controversial uh, they are certainly thought provoking 
they make you think, they raise lots of questions, which is my, uh, so to say, my process of filmmaking itself or my urge to make a film. It dealt with a very important educational issue. Um, we brought into focus uh, the neglected ones, uh, you know, um, the children who were faceless, but uh, are a very important part of our society. Dhavi Tukriya Madhi Kima Nau Zana Yanda Borda Zarakneachi Shakyata Ahe Apart from the film getting lots of awards and all that, um, and children liking it, it went a house full almost for, uh, it ran for more than 40 weeks uh, in theatre. And government of Maharashtra, um, with a special reference to our film, changed its educational policy, uh, which was very, very important to us, uh, certainly. Um, also, there were many seminars uh, organized uh, of the teachers and parents based on our film. Emerging from all segments of society, Gender equality and women's empowerment are human rights that lie within the heart of an Indian woman. She is ready to fight against any system that may cause harm to her own self and her family. I inspire and I feel that issue is there. And Adhan is Pandinchi. I am doing my role, doing these set of films belongs to people issues and belongs to peoples, and you may call the people Dalis, tribes, and farmers, laborers, and unemployed youth, or any, any, anything, the surplus and laborers, so-called, um, the people who are fighting for their right causes. In a commercial film, uh, what the makers prefer is to keep the uh, society in a status quo form, and uh, conveniently victimizing women and glorifying their victimization. But while in our films, what we try to uh, tell the audience that a woman has a right to happiness, right to a normal, dignified life, so her glorification uh, shouldn't be a convenient way of victimizing her. And as you have done this efficiently, you have to do it with your hands. You have to do it with your hands. It is not only on cinema that we are becoming aware of this victimization and about the victims and the victimizer. We read about it practically every day. Open the papers, it is there. Open, put your TV on, it is there. It is not that it is, you are seeing it for the first time on cinema. No, it is not that. Nanda Shankaran, Panakkam, Ivardhaya Vakil, Tarkan and Allah Terime. उंड Calculated neglect of wife and child, always indulging in abusive language, causing mental torture. Communalism and terrorism have long vied for the title of cinema's favorite bad guy. Abba! 
bringing out the clear divide along political lines and raising doubts about the futility of such an exercise, regional cinema has effectively portrayed its effect into a humane issue. If you take Mr. Maniratnam, when he talked of Bombay, he spoke of uh, what happens when communal riots take place. In short, the impact that violence leaves on society, on the lives of individuals. He, he dealt with that so beautifully that people became more aware that even though I'm staying deep down in the south, a problem up there in Srinagar, several thousands of kilometers away, can affect me. Even though I am here, even uh, though I am in the uh, maybe suburbs of Chennai, what happens in Bombay can affect me. Even though I am here, what happens overseas in Sri Lanka can affect me. And how it impacts an individual, how much it harms his psyche, let alone his domestic life, that was being beautifully uh, visualized and presented to the audience in Mani's films. That way he's brought about the impact of violence on the average human being. Apart from showcasing effects of terrorism, regional mainstream cinema has also delved into alternate issues like globalization, environment preservation and conservation, a much needed expression. Dhaka is about a person, you know, uh, if, you know, it's about a fading aristocracy. The protagonist, he's a blind man. But he has become blind because of glaucoma. He had seen the world for many, many years, then became blind. And there is another character who's born blind. So it's about what we see, what we don't see. In our society, we can see certain things but sometimes you don't want to see. So it's again a very personal film uh, where my own family, acquaintances, and many friends, they're all involved. And also the time. Because, you know, uh, since the late 90s, we have changed, seen a, a, a sea of change in our society because we have entered into a consumer economy, in a market economy, and we could see the reflection everywhere in, in, in our lives. So it's about that. Uh, so I, I love that film, you know, it's a very, very personal. And also film did very well, I don't know, because, you know, a lot of people, the distributors say that it's a very difficult film, it's a very complex film, but people enjoyed it. So sometimes people, uh, I think you know, in, in, the, in cinema you can give, create some kind of magic. People don't follow all your understanding, but certain magic works. Gautam in Abar Arunne and Dakha and his latest release, Kalbala, has very directly addressed the changing political scenario. And in that scenario, he has uh, addressed the issue of environmental damage and these films have at least, they have created a lot of discussion, a lot of talking about the cinema which has generally been absent in the Bengali cinema scene. <laughs> दृष्टि थकते ता बुझीन हो बे तू गाचे संगे मानुषेर 
একটা নিবিড় সম্পর্ক আছে তুমি যদি খানিক্ষণ একটা গাছের তলায় গিয়ে বসো দেখবে তোমার মনটা কেমন শান্ত হয়ে গেছে ঠিকই আমরা আর গাছতলায় বসি না তাই হয়তো পৃথিবীতে অশান্ত মানুষের সংখ্যা এত বেড়ে যাচ্ছে রিজনাল সিনেমা উইল হ্যাভ টু ইভলভ বাই ক্রিয়েটিং ইটস ওন ডিস্টিংটিভ মোটিভ ডিফারেন্ট ফ্রম দ্যাট অফ বলিউড ইফ ইট সিমুলেটস দ্য সেম কাইন্ড অফ স্টাইলস দ্যাট আর প্রেভেলেন্ট ইন বলিউড টুডে ইট উইল নট বি এবল টু ক্রিয়েট ইটস ওন ডিস্টিংটিভ ক্যারেক্টার it is the substance and the substance the more regional it is the more experiential it is the more deep rooted it is the better it is for their films and such films i can tell you in the last 10 years especially in tamil cinema they have all been huge successes the more rooted they are the more successful they are cinema is such a powerful tool and today's heroes have such major following amongst the fans that one word from them can change and in fact does change the perception of people towards problems in the padayappanoda innoru mugam now rajnikanth when he comes into the screen the way he looks the way he dresses and the way he talks is all the time demonstrating the archetype of what i call as a street person netu kuliya vachirna innake nadikam naalake hey enna patti unak theriyadu ya vali thani vali seendada adhu se no if they are the majority in the country then they should express their opinion i mean you have a bipolar system where on the one hand mr kamal hasan is uh, a rationalist an atheist on the other hand mr rajinikant is a theist a very firm believer in god each of them talking about their philosophies in their films not necessarily directly but probably indirectly i know i have a commitment to this people uh, i've taught my uh, admirers fans or whatever to become my partners in social service and this has got no politics i've been doing it for 30 years there are people who are graying who came in as uh, early in that early 20s to join me to, uh, when i told them that don't waste your man hours in propping up an icon which is doing its job anyway so you don't have you're wasting man hours so let's do something so now slowly a group of film fans have been turned into blood donors i donors social service service uh, servants and uh, i lead them and i take pride in that yes it is also reaching to people through cinema kind of tamil cinemas i watch i prefer it to be something should have a personal connection between the film it should be more realistic chiranjeevi movie tagur chusana chaala baagundi public lo na society lo na corruption enta undi dan etla avoid cheyali anedi cheppochadu chaala baagundi 
ఏదైనా కానీ పిక్చర్ చూస్తున్నాం కాబట్టి వచ్చే కొంత కామెడీ ఉంటుంది కాబట్టి ఎప్పుడన్నా బయట ఉండేప్పుడు కొంత అనుకోవడం నగడం కామెడీ ఉంటుంది పిక్చర్ బ్రహ్మానందం పిక్చర్లో కామెడీ ఎక్కువ ఉంటుంది కాబట్టి దానికి పిక్చర్ చూడడం బయట కూడా గుర్తు తెచ్చుకోవడం మళ్ళీ నవ్వుకోవడం అది మనసు మనిషి అంతగా ఉంటాం prefer to see uh, films which which will be there with me for some time will make me think a little sansarik cinema bhalo lage ar bachchare cinema bhalo lage bachchare je oguli amar bhalo lage ar ei jontu janwar ei sob amar bhalo lage bachchare je guli hoy seguli amar bhalo lage by seeing films and using cinema as um, a sort of pathway we definitely do change our lifestyles our attitudes because cinema which incorporates a lot of violence definitely makes the youth more aggressive and agitated whereas cinema which tells you to love and which tells you to uh, be close to family and friends those type of values really stick to our hearts so it i feel that when a filmmaker makes a movie he should be very careful on the people whom he shows the movie to i think the audience is now prepared for every kind of movie as far as it's made well and it connects a little bit with reality and it's not totally a you know a make believe kind of a story to me sare khati log da transit camp madhe rahayla maza khup ambition sir aaj hi tumcha festival lo clear kara tumcha sarkha election aita So far we talk about serious cinema. So far we talk about cinema which is sensible, cinema which will go on staying with us, with our minds. Definitely, we give more trust on regional cinema. I think every uh, movie maker uh, should keep that in mind and really uh, work on um, bringing about a social issue, or bringing about a family issue, um, or bringing about any 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 issue that they believe in. Uh, to the to the limelight and make sure it uh, it's actually it comes across to the viewers to the masses that that movie is aimed aimed towards indian cinema as the cinemas of india you see that every nation every little region in india must have a distinct flavor and i think this diversity has to be respected and so a bengali film must evoke the ethos and the culture of bengal and the and the tamil cinema must evoke the culture and ethos of tamil nadu the kind of locations the kind of language is kind of cuisine kind of um, cultural heritage i mean india is a unique country and it can be seen through its cinema it is the regional cinemas which together with the hindi cinema comprise the whole it's like a meal if one thing is the the, the roti something else is the sabji and something else is the raita and in the end you also need a glass of water to complete the meal with all this is the full meal called indian cinema